Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily use frequently bought together on your Shopify store. So let's start. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll just easily add application and I will show you how you can easily implement it to your store. So install application and let's just wait now. Okay, and here we go. So you just have to wait for a while until it's going to load on your Shopify store. If it's already loaded, just skip the part of the video. Because honestly, guys, I'll be honest, I don't really like cutting videos. So <laughs> I'll press continue. As a free plan. Okay. And here we go. So application state enabled. And now recommendation uh, explorer menu bundles, visual preferences, widget location. So we can edit through everything here. So let's start with a, a recommendation explorer. So you can use this recommendation explorer to check out how recommendations for a particular product are built. I don't have many products, so I'm going to just like choose here. And then uh, you can customize the manual recommendations in the manual bundle selection automatic recommendations there are no previous sales of this product so uh, automatic recommendations a recommendation for the product uh like if the if you're gonna have like a lot of orders uh, the tool is going to analyze based on algorithm what other people like let's say they bought shoes but they also bought these shoes with some kind of t-shirt and what can happen is that you will see based on automatic recommendation the t-shirt that other people bought with these shoes so that's really good and now you can customize global recommendations for all products in the global recommendation so this is how the product recommendation works and now when you go back you're gonna see the manual bundles and this is select to product to check bundle okay select and select products to add to this bundle i would just select my second product here so this is how it work right it's out of stock uh, but right now you can have the menu bundles and this is how it works right you see you can add to the hat multiple products let's scroll down below and you see it right here. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now, when we go even further, <clears throat> you can go to the discounts uh, and you can enable those. So individual di discounts or normal discounts. And when there is going to be a bundle, you can have discount type of percentage of fixed amount, cheapest item for free, free shipping so when someone is going to buy a bundle they will get a percentage off all the whole order or fixed amount so that's something you can do so this is how the discount works let's go back the next thing i want to show you is recommendation tuning and then we'll go to visual preferences and widget location. So as you can see, recommendation tuning, so automatic recommendation, so uh, re global recommendation and random. You can disable, enable those which you want. And you can also limit the random recommendations to products with the same collection, product type or product vendor as the main product. So you can really optimize it as much as you want. And now we're going to see the maximum number of recommendations displayed too. You can shuffle those recommendations. And there, then you can see like products excluded. All products are eligible to be recommendation. Uh, you can exclude some products. And now that's pretty much it, how it works. So, yep, you can have also like more recommendations displayed. You can shuffle those. It's really up to you how you uh, like edit it and how you optimize it. I can't really say that what is the right way because you need to test a lot. So test something for two months, test something else for another two months and you will see those results, uh, which one works for you the best. And But look at it from the logical perspective, right? 
So let's say that I'm going to store, but it's in Slovak language, but you will understand. So let's say that I'm going to use and buy this product, right? Straight away, when I see that's a monitor, they are going to offer me some combo here and also a premium core display port and also power display port for for this like BenQ and this is pretty much it what you should do so try to like when, when someone is going to buy a notebook right what is really great to offer it if when someone would go buy a notebook is to offer a stand to it right so i'm going to uh, buy this dell here and it would be really great if someone would offer me yes one terabyte and this is it stand and even the mouse to it you can also do it based on uh, like many things but this is something that you should focus on try to make it logical try to make it understandable what you're going to recommend and it's also okay to recommend it based on your preference right that yes use the algorithm use data but use also your intuition what your uh, like inner self is telling you what people will be interested to and the the best way how you can build an e-commerce store is to make it as easy for person to buy a product many people think that it's like really hard to build a really effective good e-commerce store it's simple just of course, have a good product. If you're gonna drop ship things from uh, AliExpress, don't expect too much. But when you're gonna uh, like build it, and I'm going to build it simply, I'm going to make effective things with the SMS campaign, with the email marketing, and also with recommended products, you can do wonders. Then you're gonna see the discounts here, manual bundles, visual preference, how it looks like, so you see right here that we got to see the frequently bought together the widget at the discount add to cart product name description variants and this is how it works and you can edit that and you can change the visual of it now when we go further i can go to last thing and widget location and now location of the frequently bought together widget so you can have it like let's say that i'm going to uh, change at the bottom of the page or below the description below the description is also good so that's something you can do and custom location with the selector that that's what you can do too but my recommendation is just do choose out of these four check out the competition how they have it if you like it you can kind of like copy it and inspire from them and that's pretty much it. So this is how it works. And this is how we frequently bought together uh, tutorial on Shopify is. And thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya. <clears throat>